Hi, my name is Coco with BlackFilm.com. I'm here with Gigi Townsend, star of the BET Plus series, Sacrifice. Thank you so much for joining me. Of course, thank you for having me. Of course. Um, so let's just get started before we talk about the show. You were actually originally from LA, right? Yes, yes, born and raised. Um. <laughs> There's a lot of talk lately about uh, the LA experience and uh, people from LA versus people in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> What's your take on that? Um. <laughs> You know, it's it's piggybacking on what all LA natives say. Mm -hmm. We are not fake. It's mm -hmm. the facade that people assume needs to come with being in LA, mm -hmm. um, rather than you know finding natives and and building your experience off of the native people and the real LA, they go to Hollywood mm -hmm. and they, they, they come out with this persona of, well, I have to be this certain kind of way without actually doing the work and, and figure <laughs> out how LA people move. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a misconception. I feel like, you know, the, the, the transplants um, feel that they have to be to, mm -hmm. to make it or, you know, whatever that is. And it's so weird because we don't act like that. I was going to say, like, honestly, people that I know from LA are always super cool. Like, it's yeah. just not, it's not the Hollywood attitude. I'm, I mean, some people were even telling me, like, I was speaking with someone recently and she was just like, I don't even be in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Like, <laughs> what I see Hollywood in the movies more mm -hmm. so than being in Hollywood. Hollywood is gross. It smells like pee. Like, <laughs> Hollywood Boulevard is disgusting. It's not what, like, yeah, it's not all shiny. Like the the star, the Walk of Fame. It, it's really the stars. Yeah. It, it's not what people think when you get to LA. It's like, oh, okay. Right, right, right. right. So like it's, when it's people true. come come to LA and they're like, oh, well, what do you like to do? And you know, they expect me to be a tour guide. Yeah. And I'm like, well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> right, exactly. I'm just, it, I'm chilling. Right, I can take <laughs> you to the spot to drop me, but um, <laughs> anything beyond that, I, I don't. I'm not privy to Hollywood life. Like, and do you do you think that um, perhaps because it must be mentioned that um, you're related, your grandfather is Ron Townsend, mm -hmm. so uh, he's mm -hmm. one of the the lead singers of the iconic uh, vocal group, uh, The Fifth Dimension. Mm -hmm. Um, and which recently we saw the footage in that in the Quest Love um movie. Yeah. Yes, I, I know yeah. I was listening. Yeah, and um it's amazing to to be able to to really be around that kind of energy and certainly be be um supported and related to someone like that. Right. I always wonder because this is someone that you know, you know, this is your grandfather, mm -hmm. you know, this is someone that you love. However, he has his own path and he is a star and an icon in his own right. Does that hinder you when you are trying to carve your own path, or does in some ways does it kind of help a little bit? Um, well, so I feel like in the beginning, because mm -hmm. of who he was, everyone assumed that music was going to be like the natural path, even mm -hmm. though he he did it all, but but um, you know, the family would say, like, oh, music is in their blood. I get it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do sing, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't consider myself like a singer. Mm -hmm. So I'm an actor first, singer second. Um, but as far as, um, you know, his experiences when he was in his prime, I was not born yet. I wasn't even thought of, honestly. <laughs> so when I was born, he was, you know, becoming more like, you know, stay at home on, on the down climb of like yeah. the touring and things like that because his health started to to play a factor. Um, mm -hmm. And in 2004, he, he passed. But mm. in the midst of me getting my, you know, my, my footing at an early age as far as my career, it was never a... Uh, there weren't like teachable moments mm -hmm. for him to say, well, I'm gonna sit you down and, and this is the path mm -hmm. because he was not someone that necessarily wanted us to follow in, in those footsteps. You um, see that a lot. Yeah. When people have, have experienced fame on that level, a lot of times they're just like, uh, don't you just want to be a veterinarian? <laughs> yes. Yes. And, and my grandmother, um, you know, when, 
when we first started uh, really getting waves and, you know, I told her that this was what I wanted to do Mm -hmm. and she would just sigh. (laughs) Okay. You know, cause she saw everything, you know, first Mm -hmm. the good, the bad and the ugly. And she was more so just wanting to protect me and, and my brothers too, Mm -hmm. uh, from, the the ugly side Mm -hmm. of it all that she saw um but she definitely still you know will will give advice and and tell stories from his experiences you know things that i can now actually listen to because i'm older Mm -hmm. Uh, it was different when i was younger you know i can't really talk about the sex drugs and uh rock and roll (laughs) right child so now that I'm older, you know, I can I can hear these stories. Mm-hmm. But even now, I um, mean, you're older now. And, you know, as an adult, you start to see things and in, in, let's say, the Hollywood space. Right. Yeah. Again, you're an L.A. native, so you're grounded. It's, it's very different. But you're seeing certain experiences or elements. And it's like, how do I? Because I, no one, you know, and I, I always like to credit people that, you know, that I can compliment this way. But we're not hearing wild stories about you. So it's like, right. So it's like, how do you balance that and not become sort of a part of those chaotic storylines? Um, you know, I don't (laughs) think that, I mean, even if I did have something crazy go on, I'm not sure how interested the people are yet. (laughs) I'm going to be honest with you. No, I, think, um, I think people are drawn to crazy. So if you were doing something yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, that's true. That's At true. another person's expense by any means, yeah, they're always yeah. going <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the way of the world. Right, right, right. <laughs> they, they probably would gravitate to it like a moth to, to a flame. Um, just want some, like, messiness. Yes, of course. But I like being to myself and... and mm-hmm literally being under a rock. I'm in the house. <laughs> I can save money that way. Mm-hmm. Um, and Every time I go outside. <laughs> and even just over the past few weeks, the things that are going on in LA mm-hmm. have been wild. Well, LA, yeah, yeah, for sure. For yeah. Sure. like uh, ho- Hollywood is wild anyway. Like you said, yeah. I mean, we were speaking about the Hollywood experience, but Hollywood is just wild. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. things are getting real crazy. So I just, you know, I keep to myself, my my village is very small. My mm-hmm. my village is actually all LA natives too. Mm, in that's the good. industry, which is weird because like we're all knee deep in the industry, but we're all mm-hmm. LA natives. So we hear the the misconceptions of LA collectively, we're all like <laughs> like what are they talking about? Where are y'all getting these stories from? Yeah. You know, like who is your resource? <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, no, for real. Um and, and also I just I we gotta talk about um your role in the Salt and Pepper movie. How did you land that and being so well received, um how did that feel? You know. Um. So I auditioned uh, for a that. classic audition. You ain't trying to call in no favors. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> I, I literally didn't have any connection to Shiro mm-hmm. prior to the audition. Um. We auditioned over maybe a two, two and a half month span. Mm-hmm. Um. Like back and forth because they did a they did a nationwide casting. Mm-hmm. Um. And I didn't know at the time how involved they actually were. So they were watching every audition tape, you oh, know, wow. and, and eliminating and, and, you know, having girls go through. And and then we got down to kind of like the wire where you would do a chemistry. So you, so you go in with one person. So I was salt. So I went in with one pep. They're like, okay, that that's cool. Go back in the waiting room, switch to another uh, to another pep. So, so really, at that point, when it, when they're doing it that way, you still don't really know where you stand. No, right, not at, right. That's interesting. not at all. Mm-hmm. Um, because there was another girl. Even down to that point, there was another girl in New Orleans, if I'm mistaken, that was like down to the wire too. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, Lord, <laughs> if you want this for me, yeah, then then it will be. Um, you know, I, I just released it. I had to, mm-hmm. um, cause I would have driven myself crazy. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I just did my best. I had fun and lo and behold, a few days later, 
They were like, when can you start boot camp? And so Cheryl had to sign off on me after after the entire audition process. Straight from Cheryl. That's yeah. so dope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. For mm -hmm. sure. And, and and that to me was like, I mean, yes, you know, you want approval from your your network and your director mm -hmm. and the people that are behind the scenes making this thing happen, but to have direct input from the person, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like that was was really important because bios get really tricky. Yeah, and you know, to have the person involved and be as heavily involved as she was, you know, I feel like that's what made the experience for me and telling the story that much better because she was such an instrumental part mm -hmm. in it happening. That's great. And so, of course, we got to go and loop back around and talk about Sacrifice. So how did we get to Sacrifice? So Sacrifice <laughs> was an audition as well. Mm -hmm. um, I auditioned and didn't think I booked. Um, really? What made you think that you just, what, what was the energy that made you feel that way? Because production had started. Oh, okay. Already. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, production had started because I knew someone that was on the show because mm -hmm. um, my character came in or she comes in episode four. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I was like, okay, well, I guess I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. And then one random Saturday, I think it was, which is weird because like, you know, you don't really do business or here oh, on, yeah, on the weekend. Mm -hmm. It's like, Hey, <laughs> what's she doing? Um, you know, can she fly out? I'm like, yeah, I could fly out yesterday. Let's let's get it. <laughs> so that was that was that process, and immediately flew out to New Orleans. Um, had to learn the music for the for the show, and mm. um, you know, wardrobe fittings, all that stuff. And literally, I was there for maybe four four days, and just got right into into shooting. Really. Yeah. And what's it like working um, opposite Paula Patton? Amazing. You hear very kind things about her. Yes. Mm -hmm. She is so sweet. She mm -hmm. is so sweet. And she knows who she is. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. So good to work with her. Um, That's great. Yeah. That's great. No, it's, yeah. it's good. To, it's always. Specific. She knows what she wants, you know? Mm -hmm. It's always good to hear people speak very positively about their peers. You know, yes. I think yes. all of us would would love that. You know, just knowing that. Um, but I just really never hear a negative thing about that woman at all. Yeah, <laughs> no, she's she's, she's very well received. Yeah, yes. and she smiles a lot, and I like people to smile. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, just talk more about your character, Jameson. Um, you know, who is she? What she's about? Um. So Jameson is a pop star. Mm -hmm. Um, coincidentally. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Music stars just keep being thrown at me. So So I guess you really gotta start focusing a little more on the music than you think. <laughs> I I think at some point maybe right I will do like a a project. Yeah. Maybe, that's nice. And just see how it's received. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. Mm -hmm. Um but yes, Jameson is a pop star and <laughs> she is a little loose cannon. Mm -hmm. Um she is in the family narcotics business. <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> and she uses the pop star facade mm -hmm. to move her weight. <laughs> yeah, this show is a lot more spicy than you may think about yeah. upon the description. Yeah. <laughs> yes, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Even I watching, was like, yeah. you enjoy it. <laughs> when I was reading my scripts, I was like, well, I have to do. Uh, what? I gotta say this. Yes. <laughs> I'm doing <laughs> Jameson. Oh my goodness. But it was fun to be able to play someone like that, you know, and in I was gonna say, like, is it fun to just just roles and characters, people that you wouldn't even know? Yeah. Like, is it fun to just step outside of yourself and do that? Yes, for mm -hmm. sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. One of the um one of the crew members on set, I remember one day, this was her. I think her second or third day with us and you know she had just really been seeing me as Jameson like once Jameson really like snapped and off set she's like you're so nice I don't know. <laughs> like oh you? my goodness and I was like well <laughs> I, guess, I guess that's a good thing right <laughs> I'm doing my job <laughs> right 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 and she was like you're so good at this <laughs> I'm so glad I'm so good at being mean. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. So let's talk about anything that you have going on in the future, anything that you, I mean, that you can speak about. <laughs> um. So as far as right now, you know, we are just enjoying the holiday season. We're waiting to see if Sacrifice gets picked up for season two. Okay, good. No, I, I think it, and I, listen, we're waiting, but I, I, I am hopeful and I believe it will. I, believe I it hope yeah. so, because people in the comments are like, where's season two? I'm getting ready to rewatch season one. <laughs> Me too, sis. Me oh, too. for sure. Yeah. And, and, and it's funny because earlier you were, you know, we were talking about the idea of being on social media and not having all this drama and so forth, but you've got a lot of social media followers to your point. People are asking about the season two. You got yeah. a lot of followers, but you're not out there like attacking nobody. <laughs> ain't swinging on nobody. Right. <laughs> so you, guys, you can definitely be known on social media yes. and not have to be some sort of notorious individual. You can totally be kind. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, for sure. The world needs more kindness anyway. Because, Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so um, anything besides the break? Do you know anything that's coming into the new year? I don't know anything yet. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I mean, it might be time to work on that music project we were just talking. You know, about. <laughs> like maybe. In, get in the stew for a little bit, see what you yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think because I I want it to be something really special. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've literally always danced around the idea of maybe doing an ode to my grandfather, maybe redoing one of the songs. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite Fifth Dimension song is Wedding Bell Blues. It would have to be you. It would be so yeah. good. Yes, yeah. I, would, I would love to hear that. I'm being sincere. That would be beautiful I because it's, it's coming from the right person, you know? Right, mm -hmm. right, right, right. For mm -hmm. sure. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe, maybe I do need to to, to figure that out during this break. <laughs> Right, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I was just, just think about it. You know, or you know, once we put this up, maybe I'm mean, we're gonna have a few of your followers just sort of put it in. <laughs> I, love music. I, love the music. I love it. I love it. You have really, really great energy. And um, I appreciate you. that you know for sure. And I appreciate that you were able to, to speak on LA, you know, like all that stuff y'all be hearing. It don't be the people in LA. You know, anybody that's in LA can tell you that it is not the people in LA, it's the people from wherever else. I ain't gonna call out no states and no cities, but it don't be the people in LA doing all of that nonsense. You know, it's right. the transplants. And I yeah. think that transplants, uh, like you said, it was a very, very interesting point that you made. Um, they sort of play up to the idea of what they think you're supposed to be in LA. When exactly. being yourself goes so far, you know, you don't right. have to play it up for anybody, you know? At all, mm -hmm. at all. You can get so much further if you just be yourself. Yes. Because relationships and opportunities in LA, or at least what I've seen, mm -hmm. are literally based off of personality. And, mm. you know, I want to hire you because I want to sit on a set with you for 15 hours a day because I like you, mm -hmm. you know, like that's, my experience in the industry, the the relationships and personalities and in in good, you know, good people, you know, is is what gets opportunities. Yes, it may not be the fastest opportunities. I will say that. Yeah, maybe not, but I mean, just being good and being consistent, you know, and yes. just, yeah, character yes. character will get you much much further, you know. Um, yes. those kind of, those moments where people are just sort of, again, being notorious or just being messy, those things. I mean, they, they gain the attention, but it's right. a, it's a, it's a quick yeah. ride. And then it's a downward trajectory real fast. You exactly. Know? So, Cause no one wants to touch you anymore. Nobody wants to touch you. It's like, okay, great. That was great attention, but mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Too messy out of my, mm -mm, I'm not doing that. So yeah, oh, just sure. make sure you're doing everything for the right reasons. I guess it's our sort of thesis point. <laughs> <laughs> just be yourself. Yeah, exactly. Just be yourself. No one is you. That's and that right. is your superpower. Oh, I love that. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> I'll write that one down. Thank you so much uh, for speaking with me. Again, I'm here with Gigi Townsend. Um, she's the star of the BET Plus series, Sacrifice. That's streaming now. We are hoping for a season two. We are looking forward to a season two, okay? Um, make sure you guys watch it. And you have to subscribe to BET Plus. There's a, some amazing programming um, on there as well. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. It was great speaking of to you. Of course, you too. And I'm listening to the music when it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, girl. Take care. If you want to see more content like this on blackfilm.com, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell.